Hi, welcome back. My name's Mom and Dr. Jones. I am an OBGYN and mom to four. I have no idea why I just jumped into this frame. I wanted to do something different and it turned out weird. Today we're gonna be talking about your OBGYNs, well, unless I'm your OBGYN, that's not really true, but an OBGYN top five tips on C-section recovery. As a mom to four and a three-time C-section mom, I matched my finger in a patient exam door and you guys keep asking about it, that's what happened. I definitely understand why you would wanna know how to recover better from your C-section. So I'm gonna give you my top five tips today and I hope it helps someone out there. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It makes me happy. I know you're here to make me happy and not to get excellent information. So go ahead and do that, I'll just wait. I see that you hit that like button and I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. So hit subscribe if you want to come back. Let's jump into the video. Tip number one, this is the biggest one to me as a doctor and as a mom, and that is stay active in your pregnancy. Now I know for some people that's not possible because you have some kind of pregnancy complication that prevents that. And there certainly are pregnancy complications which both make physical exercise a little more difficult or dangerous and also make a c-section more likely but in the event that you have a relatively healthy pregnancy and you know that you'll have a c-section or even if you don't because honestly it makes labor easier pushing a baby out easier and recovery from having a baby vaginal easier stay active during your pregnancy talk to your doctor about what kind of exercise you're doing and make sure it's okay to continue that i typically tell my patients in the absence of complications in your pregnancy you can probably continue whatever exercise routine you were doing before as long as it doesn't cause you to be uncomfortable or cause you pain. If it does, chat with me and we'll talk about what we need to change there. For me, I was not super active and I'm still not super active. I should do better at that. But I did try to do yoga and stay active with my kids, get outdoors, go on walks, things like that while I was pregnant. And I try to do that now too. All of those things, being active while you're pregnant, definitely contribute to having an easier recovery, whether you have a C-section or a vaginal delivery. Number two, after the C-section, get up and start moving around as soon as it's safe. As soon as soon as your doctor or your nurse give you the okay, get out of bed and walk around. The first couple of times you're probably gonna want to have your nurse or someone else there to help you. But after that, you should be able to get up moving. And this is so important because your body needs to move. It might make you a little bit more sore for the first day or so, but after that, it helps the recovery process a lot. It's also gonna help get your bowels moving so that you're passing gas and having bowel movement sooner. It's gonna make you feel less nauseated because if your bowels are moving sooner, then you're not going to feel quite as nauseous. And it's just going to help your recovery be all that much faster. Getting up and moving around is one of the number one things that you can do to help recover from surgery easier. Number three, ask your doctor if they can prescribe or if you can buy and bring an abdominal binder. This is a really tight binder that goes around your belly and it's not a corset. This is not a vanity thing. It's to keep everything kind of compressed and in the same place so that when you move around, it's less uncomfortable. These things are scientifically shown in research studies to improve how quickly patients feel better after major abdominal surgery, including C-section. If you have a midline incision, which occasionally people will have to have during a C-section, it's not the most common way that you'll need a C-section, but it does happen sometimes. That is even more important because of the way that that incision lays and where the pressure goes, it pulls away. And those incisions just take a little bit longer to heal. So abdominal binders are even more beneficial in those patients. So that's one way that you can improve Prove how quickly you feel better. A lot of hospitals have these that they can give to patients. I personally was given one before my last C-section and I can't remember the name of it. I'll try to link it below if I can find it, but it was a binder that was really nice because I could tighten it myself. I didn't have to have help putting it on. It was really awesome. I didn't find those super comfortable when I was just like around the house because when you sit down, they just are really restricting and I didn't like it. And I also got hot, like after you have a baby, you do a lot of sweating and a lot of like getting rid of extra fluid and I just found them uncomfortable. But if I was gonna get up and go on a walk with the baby, even for a few months after delivery, I'd put that on and it just made everything feel better. So those are really great in those first few days after the C-section as you're getting up and moving around to kind of keep everything in place where it's not moving around so much. And they're also really great when you start increasing your activity a couple weeks out and you start getting up and around a lot more. I don't really love them for like all the time day-to-day -day use because I didn't like how it felt personally.
personally when I sat down, but a lot of people find them really helpful. So you might try that too. Number four, this goes along a little bit with the one I just talked about, and this is high waist leggings. I, after my C-sections felt most comfortable for many weeks in very high waisted yoga pants. I got on Amazon and I bought yoga pants that were a little bit bigger than my normal size that had a really high waistband and I wore those like all the time, awake, asleep, in the hospital, when I got home, all the time after my C-section, because the same way that that abdominal binder kind of keeps everything a little bit in place, because moving around can be uncomfortable even for a few weeks after. It may not be overtly painful, but it can be uncomfortable, and it really helped just kind of make everything feel a little more stable. Most of the time we have that like Pillsbury Doughboy thing going on right after delivery, and that's okay, it's totally normal, but sometimes it feels weird, and those high-waisted leggings can just really help you feel a little more stabilized and a little less uncomfortable. I personally was a big fan of them. I just bought cheap ones off of Amazon and now I still wear them uh, for working out and stuff because they're yoga pants and they stretch to fit me, my postpartum body and they still fit now. So that is really awesome and I feel like those are really helpful. So grab some of those from Amazon and take them with you to the hospital. Number five, this one is something that I've just discovered in my most recent C-section recovery period and something I wish I had known about way sooner. You know how when you have menstrual cramps, it feels really nice to put a heating pad on your belly? Well, after a C-section, a lot of times when people are in the hospital and they're going home, or really after any abdominal surgery, we'll tell them to get a pillow so that if they cough or sneeze, they just hold that there to keep everything in place so that it's a little less uncomfortable. Well, my kids have these animal things and I'm gonna go find it. One second. Okay, my kids have these things called warmies and you put them in the microwave and warm them up and they can be put on boo-boos or ouchies or whatever if they have leg cramps. It's kind of like a heating pad, but you just warm it up in the microwave and it's filled with something. I don't know what is in this. Not suitable for use with infants or individuals who have poor circulation, diabetes, insensitive, insensitive skin. It says insensitive skin. You see that at the bottom? Insensitive skin, what is that? There's a typo on the tag and it's cracking me up, man. And I don't know why, but it's funny. Okay, my kids have these little animals called warmies and we warm them up in the microwave. Apparently they have flaxseed and lavender or something in them because it says you shouldn't use it if you have a flaxseed or a lavender allergy. They smell kind of funny after you warm them up. I like them, the kids think they stink, but they're very nice. So after I had Paxton, I had a terrible asthma exacerbation and lung upper respiratory infection that had been going on for a few weeks that because we shouldn't doctor ourselves, I hadn't realized was so bad and I could not stop coughing, like miserable coughing after he was born. And it went on for a few days and I finally went to see my family practice doctor friend and she's like, how much albuterol have you used? And I'd use like all this albuterol like, oh, huh, I might be having an asthma exacerbation. That's a really great point. So it made for a really miserable recovery period. But a few days into that, after I got home from the hospital, I remembered that the kids had these things and I thought, you know, we always tell people after they have a C-section or a big abdominal surgery, like grab a pillow or something if you're gonna cough or sneeze and just hold it on your belly so that it keeps everything stabilized. Well, this was fabulous for that. I would put it in the microwave and because it's a little bit heavy and weighty, it would get nice and warm. And I just lay on my back in the bed with it like right over where my incision was. It was so wonderful. It helped with like the postpartum cramping, but also just with general incision pain and feeling bad. And then if I was coughing or sneezing, I'd just hold on that and it would just keep everything in place. It's so wonderful. These things, like this should be standard. If you have a friend that's gonna have a C-section soon, buy them one of these things. The brand is warm. We got them at a little shop in town, but if I can find an Amazon link, I'll link it below because it's really awesome. And I think that your friend would really appreciate it if they're gonna have a C-section or you would really like it if you're going to have a C-section. I even think it might be useful if you're not gonna have a C-section and you're just gonna have a vaginal delivery or if you don't know, because it was really nice for those postpartum crampy pains that you get. So yeah, those are your OBGYN. Actually not, no, I'm not your OBGYN. Oh, I might be some of your OBGYNs, but probably not most of you, but that is Anna OBGYN's top five recommendations for feeling better sooner after your C-section. And you know what? I just thought of another one. So we're going to make this six. You get a bonus tip and that is 
Take your pain medicines if you need them, especially if your doctor has given you an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen or Toradol. Take that even if you feel like you're not hurting right then, at least for a little while to get over that hump. Take the other medicines if you need them and don't be afraid to treat your pain so that you can get on the road to recovery. You probably shouldn't take it for weeks and weeks and you probably won't need it for weeks and weeks, but you had a big surgery, it's okay to treat your pain. There's your bonus tip. Stay ahead of your pain. Take your medicine if you need it. Don't feel ashamed. C-section moms are awesome. I've had three C-sections myself and it is just as hard, uh, it's probably harder, than having a vaginal delivery. It's not a cop out. You still delivered your baby. You still got your baby to go home with you and that is what matters. There's your motivational speech along with your bonus tip. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hit that like button if you learned something or if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. Hit that notification bell to turn on notifications when I post a video. Be kind to yourself, to each other, to me, in the comments, be kind, and I will see you next time.